What we're going to be going through here is an example of a non-monetary exchange of some property, plant, and equipment or long-term assets. And our example is going to be where Corporation A and Corporation B exchange some equipment and Corporation A is going to pay Corporation B some extra amount of cash in addition to the exchange of equipment here. But before we get into that, uh, there are uh, uh, rules that we follow here on these non-monetary exchanges here to determine the gain or loss. Um, you can focus in on these here and write them down if you want but this is where you would start when you're working with these problems and here I got them listed here in step form here number one compute the total gain or loss of the asset given up here that fair value minus the book value determines any gain or loss and then if there's a, a loss here then you'd recognize the entire loss if a gain then you would go and you have to make your decision criteria here to determine if there's any commercial substance involved or if there's no commercial substance involved then you would have to follow these specific rules here and for our example we're just going to be looking here at a loss where we're going to recognize the entire loss here and then we're going to be looking at both the difference here between if there is commercial substance involved where we'd recognize the entire game uh, gain here and if there's no commercial substance involved we're just going to look at the case here where some cash is given then no gain would be recognized here. But these are the rules that you have to follow here. So let's go and look at our problem that we're going to be going through. Okay, now let's go through our example here where Corporation A exchanged equipment used in its manufacturing operations plus $4,000 in cash for similar equipment here used by Corporation B. So what we have here is Corporation A and Corporation B is gonna, are going to exchange their equipment here. And this is, the, this is what equipment they have here. I got it listed here for Corporation A and then for Corporation B here. So this is the equipment here. We've got the cost. We got the accumulated depreciation on those pieces of equipment by each corporation. So uh, the difference here is the book value here for both A here and B here. And this is the fair value of the equipment I have shown here. And then Corporation A also has given up some cash here. They've given uh, $4,000 worth of cash here to Corporation B here in exchange of this equipment. So let's just go through our definition here first. So for Corporation B, their old equipment becomes Corporation A's new equipment here. And Corporations A's old equipment becomes Corporations B's new equipment here. And we'll be referring to that when we go through our uh, calculations here. So the first thing we're going to be looking at here is for, first for Corporation A, we're going to be looking at this uh, situation here where you either have commercial substance involved in the uh, in the um, tr uh, exchange of this equipment or you don't have commercial substance and this is going to be in based on corporation a here so what do we mean by commercial ex substance here uh, where this the exchange has commercial substance if the future cash flows uh, change the economic positions here so what we're going to be going through it's not through the numbers here you can use this as a reference because this is a very good example here for d determining any gain or loss here. And what we're going to be starting with here again, Corporation A, where the exchange lacks commercial substance. There's no commercial substance in this exchange here. So Corporation A here, and, and this would be called a diverge, deferred gain or the gain is not recognized here. So just going through it here for evaluation of equipment here by Corporation A, you take the book value of the equipment given up here uh, and then you add the cash paid here to that and then you come up with your new equipment cost here or the valuation of the new equipment here. Or you could take the fair value received here, that's the fair value of the equipment received here, less any gain deferred here and we'll look at that here and how we calculate that. And then the difference here gives us the new equipment valuation here. So for our and, uh, $9,000 here are the gain deferred. This is the gain that's not being recognized since this exchange, exchange lacks commercial substance. This is where you would calculate it here. We take the fair value of the old equipment here. That's its fair value here. That's a corporation A's uh, equipment, old equipment that they have that they're going to exchange here. And then you'd subtract the book value of the old equipment here from that. And that would be the gain on the disposal here. But since this lacks commercial substance, this exchange here in this situation, we don't recognize the gain here. It becomes a deferred gain here. 
So our journal entries here for Corporation A, the new equipment, this is what they'd be adding on the book here, $22,000. That's the uh, valuation of the equipment that we calculated up here, $22,000. And then we'd be removing from the book the accumulated depreciation of the old equipment that they exchanged here and then we'd also be removing the old equipment's uh, cost here from their books and then we would also in this case since they ex uh, gave corporation B cash here we'd reduce the cash paid account here for corporation A and then uh, just because this is a deferred gain here just to make a note here that the cash paid is less than 25 percent here of the fair uh, value of this exchange here uh, therefore it's the gain is deferred. If it was greater, if the cash paid here was greater than 25% of the fair value of the exchange, then we would recognize a gain. So now let's go back and look at again Corporation A, where the exchange has commercial substance here. So this is the case where you have commercial substance. So Corporation A, this is where the gain would be recognized here. So again, the cost of the new equipment. That's uh, just follow through these number or these. Um, uh, descriptions here because this is the best way to handle this problem. First you have your ca cost of the new equipment, your cash paid here, then you take the fair value of the old equipment here. You add that to the cash paid and you're going to got the cost here of the new equipment here. And as it turns out here this um, the, the addition of these two, the cost of the new equipment, that is was the fair value of the of the exchange. If you go back and look, so now to calculate our gain on the disposal of the equipment, we just take the fair value of the old equipment here, subtract out the book value of the old equipment here, and that will give us the gain on the disposal here. So this is how we'd record this entry. First for our new equipment here, that is what we have for our cost of our new equipment. Uh, that was on our fair value on our exchange. We had classified that as a fair value, but I just went through here to show how to how that uh, works out here. So we would increase our new equipment account by that amount here, and then we get rid of our old depreciation here on the old machine. We'd eliminate that here, and again, our old equipment, we'd remove that here from our books. That's cost here, and then we would have to uh, recognize here, uh, reduce our cash paid, our cash account by, in this case, by the amount that was paid here, and then we would also recognize a gain on the disposal here, and that would go on our income statement here. So we calculated our gain on our disposal here, and this this is where we would be we would be recognizing it in this case since the exchange has commercial substance. Now let's look at uh, the case here for Corporation B, and, and this is where the exchange uh, we have ex exchange transaction loss here. And for Corporation B, this is where the loss would be recognized. Again, for cost for our new equipment here, we take the fair value of the old equipment here that was sitting on Corporation B here. That is their fair value of their old equipment less the cash received. They receive cash here. We subtract that out. That gives us the cost of the new equipment here, and it turns out that that was the fair value that on that exchange here for their their new equipment. That was Corporation A's old equipment here, and that becomes Corporation B's new equipment. Now, the loss on the disposable equipment here. Again, the fair value of the old equipment here, uh, and then you'd subtract out the book value of the old equipment here, and that gives you your loss here on the disposal here. So uh, for our entries here, our journal entries here for Corporation B, can they have, we'd increase our cash account here by that amount of cash received, the cash paid uh, by Corporation A here to Corporation B on the exchange, and then we'd increase our new equipment account here and by um, uh, that amount here and you can see how we calculated it up here and that was the actual fair value that we had listed here on the exchange so we would increase our new equipment account by that and then remove the uh, old equipment off the books here the accumulated depreciation here on of the old equipment here and that we had on our when we started out our problem here and then the loss on the disposal here well that we calculated up here so we would credit or we'd recognize our loss on our disposal here on the income statement and that was our calculation here and then the old equipment we would re remove that here off the books here we'd remove the old equipment off the books. so on our uh, our loss here 
uh, remember our cost of the new equipment here we had our, that would be our new equipment here and then our loss on disposal I'm showing it here so the loss is going to our income statement now the idea here is just follow through th um, these descriptions here these accounts because this can become valuable here when you're determining your gains recognized realized and any a losses here recognized so this is a good problem to use but you're going to have to go through it here and just mark down and see what uh, what values you assign here based on uh, the old equipment the new equipment and what the exchange would be here between these two companies <laughs>